Today's NFL mailbag is presented by Manscaped. Head over to manscaped.com slash chat and get 20% off and free shipping on all their fantastic men's grooming products. Manscaped.com slash chat. Link will be in the comments and in the description. From iDillinator, for you and producer Sam, if there's any chance that's would trade back from two to nine, would you make that expensive move as the Broncos could go up and take Wilson? Well, I would normally let producer Sam answer this one, but in light of the Sam Darnold trade to the Carolina Panthers, that dream is dead. There, there is not going to be a Sam or a Jets trading down from two to nine. Like with the Sam Darnold trade, the Jets are going to stand pat at two, and they will take probably Zach Wilson. So there is no chance of that. The Jets are going quarterback with the second overall pick. From Vernon Spade, thoughts on the Falcons taking Pitts at four, back in the late first to get Slater or another offensive lineman. Well, late first, you're not going to get uh, Rashawn Slater. Like He's going to be gone by, by, by the top 15. So cross that one off your list. Like You're not going to get Slater. A different lineman, though, possible. Uh, a Leatherwood, a Tevin Jenkins, Samuel Cosby. One of those guys could be on the board late round one. DeAndre Jones, Terrace Marshall to the Ra to the Ravens, please. I like the fit. If you want another bigger vertical threat, which Marshall does fit that mold as a kind of a skinnier but still taller, speedy guy, I think it makes some sense. If he's there at late round one, which he very well could be, I would take him. Ravens might go edge rusher but I do think Marshall would be a good fit. From I am Javarius, if you had Mahomes and Tom Brady was on the draft board, would you pick Tom or a bust at a needed position? Well, why are those my two options? Why can't I trade the pick or take someone I don't think is going to be a bust? Like I, I, that, that, I don't like the premise behind that because if my options are good player who won't play or bad player, just trade the pick. All right, from Lil Frog, should the Broncos trade for Deshaun Watson or draft a quarterback or just roll with Locke? Um, I think for the, for the Denver Broncos, I don't think you can touch Deshaun Watson at this point. I don't think any team can. It's kind of like, we got to see what happens there. Uh, drafting a quarterback, open to that one. Rolling with Drew Locke, Open to it as well. I'd say explore your options and see just what you can get. From Dan Patterson, Chiefs trade up for Micah Parsons if he starts to fall. Mm. So linebackers still kind of an area. I kind of want to see more from Willie Gay at this point. The problem here for me is that if Micah Parsons starts to fall, it's probably because the character concerns around what happened at Penn State and some general immaturity comments I've heard from guys like Bucky Brooks of NFL.com, it means that they don't, the NFL does not trust the character. And I don't really want to go get that type of guy and sacrifice future draft capital. So my mindset of Parsons is this, is if he starts to fall, you probably don't want him. And at that point, probably not a guy you want to go up to go trade for. So talent-wise, fit-wise, I'm intrigued. But I fear the only way you could get him is if you don't actually want to get him. Now, who do you guys not want your NFL team to draft? Get your votes in for me in the comment section. Who do you want to avoid desperately? This question will be the pinned comment on today's video. So get the ad break here on YouTube, scroll on down, and get your votes in. From Wilson Hensley, why do so many field Dolphins just going to select a receiver at six when it makes sense to trade back with Carolina or, or other quarterback needy teams? So not Carolina now, and still a top three or four receiver. Um, because Miami moved back up for a reason. They could have waited to trade back up. They did not. There are players in mind that they want at number six for a prize in combination of Panay Sewell, Kyle Pitts, Jamar Chase, Jalen Waddell. There's several guys that they want, and they made sure to get one at six. From I Deline Delineator, uh, from his last super chat, what about a three-way trade with the Falcons and Jets? Falcons go to four, or J Falcons go, go, go to nine. Jets at four. Denver at two. 
Again, it is more likely that Denver just moves up, moves up to four. The Jets are going to take Zach Wilson probably. So if Denver wants a quarterback, you have to call Atlanta now. The Falcons at pick four, now with three quarterbacks, a lock already to go in, in the top three, they have a lot of power. Because if you want the next best quarterback, you got to call Atlanta to go get him. From a sports fan, the Super Chat came in before the, uh, <laughs> the Justin Fields trade, or before the Sam Donald trade. Fields being mocked as the number five quarterback now is insane to me. I agree. He should be he's my number two guy. But if he slides past the Panthers at eight, the Bears have to move up for him, right? I mean, they should. They also paid Dalton. So Chicago's in a weird spot where they were so concerned about not getting a quarterback, they probably overpaid and locked themselves in to the wrong quarterback. Chicago could get desperate. If Field starts to slide, yes, I would. Because if I'm Ryan Pace and I can get Justin Fields, I might find a way to save my job at least for one more year. Now, today's show is made possible by our friends over at Manscaped. Head over to manscaped.com slash chat. When you use that URL, you'll get 20% off and free shipping on all the fantastic Manscaped products. The Lawnmower 3.0. It's the number one men's grooming tool out there. When you go to manscaped.com slash chat, you'll get the 20% off, we promised you, and free shipping. And it's not just the Lawnmower 3.0, by the way. It's all their products. You can get the perfect package. It comes with the traveling case, the boxes that I'm wearing right now on air. Ball deodorant, ball toner as well. Stay fresh and clean and sexy down there, and it'll lead to some good results for you off the field if you catch my drift. Manscaped.com slash chat, 20% off and free shipping when you use that link. And that link, by the way, will be in the comments and in the description. So go check it out today. It's manscaped.com slash chat. All of their great products for 20% off and free shipping. From Treasy, can the Cowboys sign Sherman and Wright on cheap deals and draft Sertan? It's possible. I, I, I would not get my hopes up for all three of those. Frankly, if you get one of them, I think you should feel pretty fine on that one. From Juan Diego, if the Falcons trade down, is that a sign they're, gonna, they're going for a Sertan? Depends on how far they move down. If it if hypothetically with like Denver, possibly, maybe they want a, a, a playmaker, an offensive lineman. So a trade down, I think, substantially increases the possibility of the Falcons drafting Patrick Sertan. If they stay at four, I think they go elsewhere. On that note, Vernon Spades, with the Donald trade, the Falcons trade back, take Pitts, Sewell, or a quarterback. I don't think the Darnold trade impacts Atlanta because I have always assumed Jets were going quarterback in, at, at two. So it's nice to have that like solidified, but it was always going to be a quarterback as far as I was concerned. So those options still in play. Go cornerback, take Kyle Pitts, maybe Sewell, or go quarterback. I would rank them quarterback, trade down, Kyle Pitts. From Stewart, to the Broncos trade down and go take Christian Barmore? Um, I mean, I definitely don't like the idea of Barmore at number 10 overall. That is way too early for me, or from 9, excuse me, or just top 10 in general. I like the player, and I think there's a lot of upside there. The, the, the potential for Barmore is quite high. He's also not there yet, and that is a bit of a red flag to me because... If I'm spending, let's say, a top 15 pick or a top 20 pick on a player, I kind of want them to help me in year one. And I think Barmore can, but he's not going to be the impact guy we saw late in the year at Alabama, day one in the NFL. I think he's going to get there. I have a round one slash round two grid on him. I don't think defensive line is the biggest need for Denver. I like trading down in general. So if you trade down and you pair Barmore with a Shelby Harris, a Draymond Jones, a McTelvin Aguim, and other guys, that could be fine. I wonder, though, if Denver looks for a bigger run-stopping defense tackle later on in the NFL draft. 
So you have the draft. Who is this year's most overrated NFL draft prospect? Which player do you just not get the hype for? Who is it? Let me know what you guys are thinking there in the comments section. Who do you think is this year's most overrated NFL draft prospect? From I Dillonator, if no draft trade, thoughts on Bridgewater to the Broncos to compete with Locke, or does Carolina hang on to him to compete with Darnold? The number one problem now for both Carolina and other NFL teams is the cost associated with Teddy Bridgewater. A team that trades for Bridgewater owes him right about $18 million. That's a lot of money. That, that is too much money to pay for someone to just compete with a, for a starting quarterback role. So if Bridgewater takes less or takes his base salary and makes it into a, you know, more of a, of a incentive-based salary, you know, for starts and all that kind of stuff, which could make some sense, that would fit for Denver. The other side of it is a June 1st cut for Bridgewater would save only $8 million. That's a bit of an issue for Carolina. So we'll see about Bridgewater. He's kind of in a weird spot and kind of caught between a rock and a hard place in terms of being a starter in the NFL. Henry Hip. Ooh, Blue Mountain State, State joke there. Nice, I like it. Uh, how bad do the Bears need to be to move on from Matt Nagy and Ryan Pace? Uh, if they miss the playoffs, Ryan Pace is gone. Possibly Matt Nagy. Possibly the head coach as well. Like, for Chicago, if you miss the playoffs, it's time to, to, to reset. Pretty straightforward there. The RB Bros. Think the Niners can build up Trey Lance's potential more than Mac Jones if they draft him? I think so. Like, I think whatever quarterback the Niners draft is going to a good position. And yes, Mac Jones right now is probably a little bit better than Trey Lance. And there's some major risk involved with Lance. He's been an FCS quarterback for one year. That's very a very small sample size. But the upside of Lance, unquestionably, at least to me, is better than Mac Jones. So of the two, if I were Kyle Shanahan, I'd be taking the Trey Lance kit, not Mac Jones. Now, if you guys want more NFL Draft videos, including the entire 2021 NFL Draft live here on Chat Sports, hit that big red button and subscribe. That way, you get all the videos multiple times a day and... Keep you guys covered on everything going on around the NFL. From Jake F., where do the quarterbacks go after the Darnold trade? Good question. Um, quarterbacks go one, two, three. Um, let's say it's Mac Jones at three. Falcons go quarterback at four. I think Denver's going to have their chance for a quarterback at nine. If Jones does not go nine, or does, does not go three, New England could move up to go get their quarterback as well. From Troy, best cornerback in the draft. It was Caleb Farley after the injury. Now it is Patrick Sertan, at least for me. From Timothy, some good day two receivers that could be Michael Gal replacements. Well, for the Cowboys side of it, I think you're better served waiting till like day three to look for in that direction. Um, so kind of later round, kind of round three guys. Tylen Wallace from Oklahoma State, I love him. You could go with an Amari Rogers if you want a smaller guy, Tutu Atwell, or a bigger guy, Nico Collins out of Michigan. From Zach, should New England move up to draft a quarterback or trade back for more picks? I think they do one of those. If I was Bill B Belichick and I look at the NFL draft likely outcomes, I could potentially go up to the Detroit Lions spot at number seven and acquire a stud quarterback. Maybe it's Justin Fields or Trey Lance. I would do that in a heartbeat if I was Bill Belichick and the Patriots. Shanav, trade up for Justin Fields. You know, depending on how this board falls, you might not have to. Uh, you might just be able to wait, and he there's a chance even though he shouldn't because he's too good for it, there is a chance he'll be there at number nine overall. From Hello Hithkin, uh, should the Seahawks draft Wyatt Davis? If he's there in round two, I'm not going to complain about it. Uh, Davis only played right guard for Ohio State, and I think long-term looking maybe more of a left guard. 
you have Gabe Jackson, and you have Damian Lewis. So from that perspective, guard is not a as big of a need anymore. I might look towards a center instead, be it, be it a Landon Dickerson or for even a Quinn Miners in round two. From Potato Aim 25, what a name. Uh, Tony to KC or Terrace Marshall. Love the vids. Keep it up. Thank you, my friend. Hope Le Leatherwood falls to the second round. Possible on Leatherwood. Wouldn't get my hopes up too high, though. Uh, I also very much could see KC, though, going with a Tony or a Terrace Marshall. I've mocked them Tony before. They love adding playmakers on, on, on the offense. I could totally see him doing it again in this year's draft.